Hey, hey, Sammy Do coming to you live from Precious World Office Studios. Real estate mentor and coach and investor, founder of the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. I want to talk to you today about prerequis prerequisites that are necessary uh, in order to be in the real estate investing business. If you uh, ever thought about getting into the real estate investing business or if you are in the business and still trying to get your first or second deal, uh, you definitely want to subscribe to this channel because we come to you from a grassroots standpoint, giving you the golden nuggets, the secret sauce that you're not getting anywhere else. And I want to talk to you about the two prerequisites uh, to be in this business. Sammy Stay Duke, tuned. live from Precious World Studios, doing it again, dropping another golden nugget. isn't for everybody not everybody's cut out for this business so without these two requisites if you can't acquire these prerequisites this could be a money pit for you so this is why I want to give you the raw grassroots truth about how uh, what you would need in order to be successful in this business okay so of the two prerequisites that uh, that I really uh, suggest that you either have or acquire before getting into this business, into the real estate investing business, uh, one will be a level of education, and two will be a set of skill sets, and uh, we'll cover those skill sets. But to, on this video, I want to talk about a level of education. Uh, just as any profession, uh, industry. Uh, trade, vocation, whatever you want to classify it, you need to get some type of training, some type of education in it. This is not something you should go out and try to wing, uh, go out and try to be whimsical about it. Uh, this is not an industry that you want to go out and, and try to just hack your way through. This business doesn't work that way. It's a very legalistic business and it, ha it can make impacts on people's uh, lies personally as well as yourself you can get yourself hemmed up if you are not taking your business serious so how do you get educated well there's a number of different ways of course you're watching this video uh, the number one video platform is YouTube a lot of folks go on to YouTube University and try to learn a number of different things but I'm gonna tell you that's not enough um, and not only that, YouTube is not organized in a way of getting the right information at the right time, packaged the right way for you to be able to retain it. Uh, the information on YouTube is all over the place, so it's not nothing centralized. There's not a centralized curriculum or anything of that nature that would allow you to really learn this business the way you need to do it. It would be pretty piecemeal. You can obviously buy books. Um, there, and there are all kinds of different books and things of that nature out there. Uh, no different than buying books for a classroom that you might attend. Uh, you're probably not going to learn everything there with a book because, you know, you also would want to have a facilitator uh, that facilitates that class. Uh, the best way, uh, I mean, you can also attend seminars. I would say seminars are actually pretty, pretty decent when it comes to giving you some knowledge, but they are very, very costly. Uh, not all seminars are created equal and you don't know what you don't know so you won't really know what you're not getting if you go to the, a seminar that's not really giving you everything and uh, even for those that might give you a lot it's information overload and again you're not going to these seminars are very fast paced so you're not going to retain all the information in you know a two or three or four day uh, out of a week seminar that, that are you know that are going on and they have these things all throughout the country and now these also are costly you can spend uh, twenty thousand thirty thousand forty thousand fifty thousand uh, dollars in these seminars and I can tell you I am one that have spent fifty grand on a seminar and I can also tell you that when I got out of that seminar 
I was still not ready to be on my own. I was still not uh, able to be successful. I found that the best way, the best way to learn this business and not only learn the business, but do the business, having the knowledge is one thing, being able to execute the business is another thing. I found that the best way to do that is to leverage a mentor, acquire a mentor, uh, acquire a mentor because that's the way this industry worked uh, before even social media became about. It was rich uncles, rich dads teaching their sons and daughters and keeping it within the family, uh, the Rockefellers, the Trumps, etc., keeping it in the family for generations and generations. Uh, social media now has kind of made it a little bit more, uh, the industry a little bit more notorious, so now everybody thinks that they want to be in the in the uh, wealth creation place of real estate and it's not really true that everybody can uh, obviously if everybody can everybody be doing it that's not the case there are certain uh, skill sets as well as a level of education on what to do and how to do it and of course education costs uh, education in you know going to be a dentist or a doctor or an attorney uh that, that that costs education into being a carpenter or a plumber that costs getting those licenses and things of that nature and in this business you don't need a license but you still need education and you want to acquire that uh, in some form of way i think the best way to acquire education is by way of leveraging a mentor and the reason why is leveraging a mentor allows you to uh, learn in real time what you would need to know for that particular incident, for that particular case, for that particular deal. Uh, and it's not only uh, real time, but it's, I mean, it's true street knowledge of how things work. I found that when I took the class, even the very, very first lead and the first deal that I received uh, and acquired did not match anything that I learned in that $50,000 course. <laughs> Um, did not match any of it. There were issues uh, with the seller. There were issues with the property and things of that nature. Didn't match anything of what we had talked about in that course. Had I not had a mentor to really break that one down, uh, that deal would have been lost. Instead, I was able to make $7,000 off of my first deal after having leveraged a mentor. And I found that the best way to do that is to, you know, leverage a mentor and they can actually hold your hand, walk you through uh, the process and, and tell you all the different pitfalls that you might run into, tell you how to avoid them, as well as the opportunities that you can make for something that may not look like you can make an opportunity out of it uh, with some of all the creative things. So uh, the best way uh, to really learn is to leverage a mentor. I'm going to tell you also, a mentor will save you a lot of money. It will save you a lot of money, money from an educational standpoint, money from making mistakes standpoint, money from a trial and error standpoint. A mentor will help you save a lot of money, especially in the long run. I can tell you, uh, I don't know uh, any mentors uh, in the real estate investing business when you're working with them one on one. Uh, that would charge fifty thousand. I know there are some that charge, you know, uh, up upwards, but uh, uh, not, I, I know my my program. We don't do that at all. We're not even nearly even close. In fact, it's kind of a shame uh, what we offer to our students from a mentorship standpoint. So, um, if you are interested in mentorship because you don't have it, if you're interested in, in just learning the business. Feel free to click the link in the uh, description of Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. You can set a free 30-minute consult uh, with me directly, not a salesperson. And uh, we can talk about your business and we can talk about how to get your business developed and things that you might want to do. And then if you also uh, want to look at acquiring me as your mentor, uh, we can talk about that too as, and, and what I would require in order to do that. But I want to make sure that if you're going to get into this business, if you're going to get into this business, you definitely want to have a level of education first and something a little bit more formalized and not just watching videos. <laughs> watching videos is not going to cut it to making you an expert in this business. So uh, if you appreciate this video, 
and the knowledge here please hit the like and subscribe to this channel and even share this uh, video with someone that you might think that's interested in the business and until then i'll see you at the top because the bottom sure is crap hey hey sammy do do -ru, back at you hey uh are you smelling what i'm cooking are you picking up what i'm putting down you like these golden nuggets that we are dropping at you well if you do please like the video that you just seen also subscribe to this platform you can do that by hitting the red uh, subscribe now button somewhere here or there uh look for it hit the subscribe button uh, that would encourage me to continue to put out uh, more content like this and uh, check out my library of other videos as well. Also, don't forget, if you need to set your appointment, the link is in the description, Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. And until then, I will see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless Sammy. Doom, doom, doom. Out.